this is what it's like in here when I walk in in the morning. <laughs> Welcome back. Here's what we have. Muffin is now in milk and her babies have been separated. These are the gen poppers. They're going outside. They're not making any noise. They will probably request food before they go out. Yep. These two aren't moving until they get some some grain thrown out there. Y'all, this is exactly why I don't turn the camera on until I get the barn swept babies happy, the mama's happy. In order to do that, I gotta get the gen poppers out of here. Okay, no, you can't come back in. Some, some, you can come in. Okay. <laughs> we pulled the babes off a of muffin. We gave her an extra almost two weeks because of having three kids and they were just a little bit average size. There's all the babes. They want their mamas. So I am not gonna dilly or dally too terribly much before I start milking. Brizzy has decided that she wants to hang out with uh, Custard. And as long as there's no problem with her going after the babies or her fighting with mom, don't have a problem with that. Tiki spent the night without her babies for the first time. And she's a really good mama for a first timer. And she's a little upset because she likes to keep her babes close. She's been on milk for a while. We're gonna leave Sprinks with her babes because she's not even at two, the two week mark yet. And my milk boss, Muffin here, she is okay. She's been through the process before. She knows the babes are over there. Y'all, I'm not even gonna sweep the floor before I do. Okay, I will. Okay, guys, I'm gonna hit this real quick first. I'm gonna show you guys our food regimen for the mamas, our milking mamas. I'm gonna start with this because the bag is here. This is calf mana performance supplements. And if you check out right here, it gives you the breakdown of all, all the uh, ingredients. 25% protein, lysine. I'm not gonna try to read that one. Fats, fibers, calcium, phosphorus, salts, copper, selenium, zinc, and vitamin A. Goats is recommended quarter pound per day. And to be honest with you, I don't know how much we give them a day. I give them one cup in the morning. Actually, I give them a third of a cup in the morning and that is two ounces. That is what we give them. I don't know what kind of production we would get if we gave them more than that. Maybe more. That stuff is astronomically expensive. So alfalfa pellets. This is our grain mix. You guys can go back and check out some other videos to see what all is in there. Basically corn, oats, kombak food, kombak supplements, vitamins, minerals, black oil, sunflower seeds. So they will get a cup a whole cup of alfalfa pellets, a half a cup of grain mix, quarter cup of black oil sunflower seeds. So it essentially looks like that. It is roughly 11 ounces of food. They will get that twice a day, along with all the hay that they can eat. Not just any hay, a good quality alfalfa hay. I'm gonna start milking. It's gonna be loud, y'all, so... I'm gonna try not to talk. I am not going to show you me milking every single goat, just a snippet so you know who it is and then I will put their name up there in the video so you can see that. Maybe I'll find the loudest goat and bring them out next. Hi Swiss Miss. What are you doing baby? For the sake of this video, to try to bring the noise level down in this barn, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, when I put mom out, I'm gonna jump in the stall, I'm gonna grab her babies, and I'm gonna put them out with her. Because for this video, mom will go right outside the wall here, and she will scream at the babies, and then the babies, mom will stand there, and she'll scream, and the babies will be right there, and they'll scream, and the noise level will still just be off the charts. All right, we're gonna let Muff out now. Come on, Muff, Muff. Hi, baby. Uh, old pro knows exactly where she's going, what she's doing. She should be a solid milk producer. Now, she might still be a little sketchy because this will be her first time being milked this year, but I don't go through the whole training process with old moms. Okay, so I'm gonna put this up here. I have to do muffin next so I can get her out of this stall so she does not, so she does not knock over my pan. So I'm gonna, this is uh, Summer's milk. Ten point seven. That is a solid production for her. Ten point seven five. I have no issues with that. She's really coming along. Oh, it just clicked the ten point eight. Muffy, you ready, babe? All right, don't go out the door though. Nah, nah. 
So, my friend? Yeah, she's just like, where's my food, bro? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, guys. When I said in... Oh, I wanted to show you guys this. I don't think I explained it very well. So my two knot system, one knot, two knot, long bodied mamas will get the further knot and short bodied mamas will get this knot. She shouldn't need a knot at all. I don't know what happened that kicked the noise back up. <clears throat> all right, let's see what you got, mama. In case any of you guys are wondering. I want you to look at this udder. See how big it still is. She gave me this much. She is not giving me a drop more. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they cut you off. I don't know how they stop the milk flow from coming out. But she's like, nah, that's from a baby's. I mean, that is still, that is still tight. She is not letting any more out. I'm okay with that. I don't need it all. And I wouldn't want to take it all. It's not a big deal for me. All right, I need all of Muffin's babies. B2, B3. Okay. <laughs> Cookie likes to sneak back in. Now this is nowhere near what it should be, but it's, it's nice. So a little over 20 ounces. I don't expect it to be higher than that. I do expect it to be higher than that when the babies come off of her. But for now, with her not giving up all of her milk, I'm good with that. I have not had enough time. I know I gave you guys this fabulous video with how perfectly we train the goats on the stand, but I've not gotten Tiki up here as many times as I want to. So she might still be, well, she might be crazy. Well, that's a good step one. This is gonna be a rodeo, y'all. Yep, I'm gonna go with two legs. <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna call that done. Good enough. Oh, I got you, Mama Sita. I know this is gonna be a rodeo too, I know. You try to take my head off with that one, Shorty. Hi. Not exactly how I wanted that to go. I mean, that's pretty good. I don't even think. She would have probably given me maybe 15. Of course, it's just a guess, so. Okay, let's see if we can get a sane goat up in this business. Thank you. Hi, Frankie. Yeah, that's your mama. She'll get here. She'll get to this level, guys. She will. She's always been a feisty one. But... Let's turn that back on, guys, because she milks so fast. Alright, y'all, that's about three minutes of milking. Those babies are old pros. They've been doing this for a minute. So that's Sugar Pie's take right there. Crystal Blue Cactus Dairy Goats, you've done milk tests before. I trust your opinion. Is that a good quantity of milk? 28.10 ounces. I mean, that seems like a good amount to me. I don't know. Reach out to me. You have my email. Okay, who is next? Miss Puddin. Oh, I... It's, it's always the boys. Hi, peanut butter. Good morning. 
Did you hear Miss Billie Jean make a single noise? Nah, those silly boys always crying for their mamas. Girl, you are a heifer. You getting in on this, Billie Jean? Hey, bit peanut butter. <laughs> Sorry. If that tells you anything, I forgot to I forgot to close her head in the block. She was like, it's all it's all good. If she had finished eating, she would have left, probably knocked the milk over. But she's the one that's a really slow eater I was telling you guys about. That was last year. Might be different this year. Oh, don't you start holding milk on me. That's not empty, but I can't, just barely anything coming out. Have you, baby's been drinking hard on the one side? Come on. Hi, Billy Jean. Hi, cute face. Did your mama scare you? She is not happy to give me milk. All right, I'm gonna stop there. She's just causing it to be a struggle, and I'm not gonna push her. We'll get the milk when we get there. So that's, that's what I got without her giving too much. Oh no, I've exceeded the scale. Oh, I didn't look before I dumped it. <laughs> okay, well, shoot. I'll have to add everything up prior to putting Puddin's milk in there, and then I'll give you guys a total in the bottom. It'll be down there, or it'll be it'll be down there. I'll, I'll put her total in right here, and then I will do the grand total right here. Oh, that's gonna suck because that was my plan for the summer for tracking everybody's milk. Do me let you out while your mama, mama's eating. Come on. Well, come on. Your mama's up on the stand. <laughs> Doesn't care how he has to get in there as long as he gets in there. I'm not, I can, I'm not gonna help you, peanut butter. If you ever think I'm being rough on the teat. <laughs> he punched you a good one, didn't he? All right, she ain't giving y'all any milk either. All right, so now I still have to feed Sprinkles. I couldn't feed her while Sugar Pie was in there because then they would just fight over the food. I should have told you guys. As soon as babies are born, this is what mom has started on. Hi, baby cuties. Good morning. Good morning, babies. You little handsome stallion, you. <laughs> oh, guys, I have so much stuff to clean up around here. I'm gonna give you guys an update on one more thing, and I'm gonna go get that thing first. Hi, Mr. Rolo. All right, guys, here is the problem. We made a huge, huge mistake. I checked his testicles. He only has one testicle dropped. So there's only one testicle there. That is a huge, huge problem because we will not breed him. Huge mistake, huge mistake. We're not gonna breed a buck, you know, three or four or five does that has a potential genetic disorder. Maybe it's not a genetic disorder, maybe just a coincidence or just a, one of those things that just happens. We're not gonna take that chance. We're not gonna breed him to girls that might throw bucks that have issues with their testicles dropping. We're gonna take him to the vet today. We're talking to the breeder right now. We're gonna see, Regardless, in the end, we cannot and will not breed him. Worst case scenario is his other testicle is up inside his abdominal wall and they will have to go in there and surgically remove that testicle and take off the other testicle. Best case scenario for him and us is he only ever had one testicle because if that's the case, then we can just band that one. It can fall off, we'll sell him as a pet and we don't have a tremendous vet fee for surgery to have that testicle removed. So now we have paid money for him we're gonna have a vet visit if it's a surgery we're gonna have that cost and then we're gonna have to sell him for a loss so we're gonna be losing a ton of money on that guy that's why the best case scenario is he only ever had one testicle because I can then ban the other testicle and then we can still sell him as a pet but we don't have that surgical cost involved
involved in the sale or in our loss. I'll keep you guys updated on him for sure. But that's where we are with him and that just sucks. All y'all that were wanting Rolo babies, myself included, obviously, ain't gonna happen. There's no way that's in the cards. There's no way he gets bred to any of our girls. There's no way he breeds anything. So he will be available for a pet. So if you guys are interested in, a, in an adorable little buck one way or the other, uh, the breeder 100% will not take him back. She said that she does not take animals back to her farm. Fully understand that because biosecurity. You got your buddy? Mr. Tiny, I want to pick you up. Your mama loves you so much, and I want to put you in a video for her. Oh, okay, all right, here, let's try it this way. Your mama says she loved you from the day she saw you being born. Look at that face. <laughs> Verdict is still out on the horns. Probably gonna have horns. So there you go. There's the baby boy. Always a little adorableness. Hey guys. Poo. We're gonna do a very short baby zoomies because they're not zooming, they're well, these guys are zooming. You guys want to know where Kevin is? What up, Kev? <laughs> Hi, buddy. What are you doing? Where's Miss Frankie James? Oh, she's on her throne as always. Miss Frankie. Zoop. She's doing great, guys. Doing great. Okay. There's the herd. Kev, what are you doing? Just doing Kevin stuff. Hi, Bubba. <sighs> Miss Cutie Face. I love your face. Tiny. Miss Aspen. Miss How Dreams Are Made. That's too long to say all the time. You do realize that, right? So Mama's gonna call you Dreamer. So Rolo is going to the vet today. The babies are starting to zoom about. The moms are all eating the hay. The tower has been conquered. Miss Billie Jean is at the top now. Sprinks is going on the milk stand in a couple days. And I am signing off this video, so y'all go click all the buttons, like, subscribe, thumbs up, tell a friend, tell a neighbor, tell a stranger. All right, y'all, bye. Kevin, don't eat metal.